Hey everyone, Brian Dunn here with Spinjutsu. In this video, we're going to walk through a typical scenario of a local business in which I'm going to show you how to pull together some of the different pieces in Spinjutsu Studio Pro to create content that's going to be super relevant. Our scenario is that we have a person named Bob who lives in Atlanta, Georgia that runs an SEO business. The first thing that we want to do is to create his project. As you'll see right now, I've got the default project selected. We go into settings. I had started to populate some of this already, but that's not really what we want to do. We want to create a special project specifically for this, but I don't want to have to type all those things over. So I'm just going to click the create copy button and I'm going to call my new project Tester Bob. Okay, now if we go back to the main screen and select that project, See, so we have it selected and everything has copied over. A few things that I'll point out to you are we've got the category selected, got the SEO category, I've designated Browsio as my default browser, and I've also selected a special profile within Browsio that I already pre created called Tester Bob, so that when we use some of the manual uh, content publication capabilities, in Spinjutsu, we'll be able to fire this profile right up and if you've already got those cookies in Browsio, you'll just get logged right in and be able to publish your content in no time. I've also designated some GPS coordinates that are going to save us some time when we get to image spinning. And I've got a special folder and bucket already selected inside of AWS as well. The next thing that I'm going to do open up spin tools we're going to generate some embed codes because we want to inject some video embeds into our content these particular videos aren't actually relevant but that doesn't matter for the purpose of our study here I'm going to spin those you'll see all three of those videos have now been spun together I've got a nice embed code down here and some of the different embed code parameters have also been spun. So it's not just three different videos that you'll see, but we've got different variations of those video codes as well. Now I'm going to click the copy button. And we're going to go ahead and put that for now here into the static text. Now while I'm working in the static text box, the other thing that I'm going to do is also add some HTML for contextual link building because this is the best way to build your links in Spinjutsu and have them come out looking great. And we might want to spin the anchor text with different keywords. And the reason that I am using HTML here is that the ultimate objective of this is to have this content being automatically created and published like clockwork using the automation engine going out through RSS where this will get copied over and posted in other blogs. We could have put just plain text here, but for the purposes of why we're generating this content, so it will be posted around the web in other HTML formatted blogs, this is going to make it look really nice. Let's click Save and Save My Project Settings. There we go. Project has been updated. Okay. The next thing that we're going to do is create a copy of our content. Now the reason that I'm going to do that is that we're going to modify the images and embed into them metadata that's going to increase their relevance. We're also going to rename those images and we're going to embed GPS coordinates as well. So we're going to get tremendous relevance out of these pictures. But I don't want to modify the pictures that are going to be used for every other application, which is why I'm making a copy. I 
and I'm going to call this copy Tester Bob. That way I know exactly what it is. Now, this might take a moment to make this copy because there are several hundred images. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes to continue. There we go. Okay, so now, there we go. You see we've got all our different topics. Now that we've got that created, we're going to come back into our project settings and you'll see we can now pick that in our drop down and let's go ahead and save that. Okay, at this point, we're going to actually optimize the images. So we're going to go into Tools, Image Spinner. Very important, make sure you're in the right folder. Uh, I can tell that I am from what I see here, but always double check this and make sure that you're in the correct folder. Let's enter some LSI keywords that will be used for renaming the files so that we get a lot of variety. These metadata comments can be really anything you want that's going to be embedded into the image to help create relevance. So this could be some random bits of information. You can have a URL. You can have name, address, and phone number information. We're going to get rid of any existing metadata. But I don't want to put all of these images in the exact same location. That would look very artificial. Instead, we're going to randomly disperse those pictures in a 20 kilometer radius around Atlanta, Georgia. You'll notice it pulled the latitude and longitude over from our project settings. Now when I click spin images in a moment, it's going to go optimize those images. Now I had paused the video earlier and reduced the number of pictures in the folder just so it would go quick. There we go. Six files modified. At this point, the images in that particular uh, content category, subcategory, have been modified to include GPS coordinates and a spun version of this metadata. They've also been renamed using variations of these LSI keywords. Now at this point, those images exist only on our local computer. That doesn't do any good for RSS feeds because they have to be able to retrieve those images. So we're going to upload those to Amazon S3. All done. Now we need the URLs. I'm going to copy those URLs. One last thing we want to do in Content Manager. Let's go back to our example, Tester Bob. Down here and pick URLs. Now right now, this is loaded with URLs to generic pictures about this subject. And that's all well and good if generic is what we want. But we don't want generic. We want highly optimized. So we're going to paste in the links to our highly optimized pictures. You can see some of the file names up here. I'm going to save that. And that has now been updated. So now when we create any sort of content or, or reference with this project and pull remote images, it's going to use those images that we put on Amazon S3 that have been optimized both for location as well as a particular topic. So at this point, if we want to, we've actually done all of the setup that's needed. This project is ready to go, uh, except for one thing, which is, I almost didn't do this, static text. We want this to be randomly placed within the article. Let me make sure that I save that. And we'll look at an example of what this looks like now when we actually create something. Here's our text version. You'll notice Browsio is pre-selected. Um, if I had already within Browsio uh, logged into uh, one of these blogs, I would be able to simply click this button, one click. Browsio will open right up into that blog and I would be logged in right away. And I could just use copy and then paste this right into that uh, particular website. 
So super fast and easy to get your content published if you're doing it the manual way. Let's go to the visual version. I want you to see that. We're actually using an embedded browser uh, within the screen here, which is why you saw a couple of uh, little pop-up messages there about uh, YouTube because we've actually got an embed right there. And as you'll see below it also, here's the text we created to embed a contextual link. So a really nice looking article. Let's close that. And that concludes this tutorial video.